today we pull in the big honey crop in. Hello, I'm Griffey, so I'm going to go faith. Here we talk everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now the day has come, we're down on the big site. We've got the big van trailer with the petrol wheelbarrow in there. If you're wondering what that petrol wheelbarrow is, click the link below to watch that video. We did a review on it, and that's our bee truck. Now I put clearer boards in last uh, night. Uh, Probably the, the, the video before this one is of that. And uh, we're gonna put the honey in the van now, using the wheelbarrow. Now, bit of a pull. There is 78 boxes to put in. Uh, around about a ton of honey. And uh, we need to get a move on. So let's get into it. So basically, we've got the blower, because we've got to take the clearer boards off. And the bees quite nasty when you do that, especially early, it is about 7 o'clock. So we've got the blower to keep control of the job. Uh, sorry, smoker, we've got the blower then. Uh, if the clearer boards haven't worked, so we'll blow the bees out if that's the case. But that is there as a backup. And basically, we're going to put four or five boxes on the wheelbarrow at the time. One hive per hive and go right through the apiary. Roll the van back and forth. It's going to probably take us about an hour. Um, but that's it, let's go. Look how good these clearer boards work. Not a single bee.
Now what I am doing as well, hefting the odd hive here, taking honey off, and that is pretty heavy. So I have got these two litre, well two kilo syrup trays. What I am doing, mm -hmm. and the hives that I think could do with just a tiny bit, there's only no feeder with this, it's just two kilo. Couple of pricks in the top. Walk the bees down and then invert that over the crown board. Works exactly the same as a bucket feeder, creates a suction, bees suck it out. And the idea is then we don't want to feed them heavy now because the balsam is still flowing, but these bees are tapering down. So that's just a tiny bit of feed, just enough to make sure nothing goes wrong, but they'll be able to fill the rest of the box up, iron the balsam, and of course when the ivy comes in in a couple of weeks. That's just a bit of a uh, insurance policy really. A tiny bit of food uh, just into them, and hopefully uh, that queen will start laying again with a little bit of trickle coming in like that. Because we don't want to overfeed now, because if we overfeed the brood box now, then the bees are going to be really weak going into winter. We still want the hives to be really strong going into next month, and then it's next month onwards we really start uh, thinking of winter preparation. And that's why I like to take the honey off now in August, get the honey off, and then the bees can really start filling that bottom brood box up with honey instead of filling the top boxes up. Because I prefer the brood boxes to be uh, mainly honey going in the winter uh, rather than syrup. Fair bit of honey was worth in there. Now, if Everything was best case scenario, and there's still supers left on the site uh, above the Queen of Studer, so I'm going to pull a bit more honey again from in the next two weeks. Best case scenario, there'll be just over a ton here. True figure um, is somewhere between three quarter and a ton, so probably around the 800 to 900 kilo mark. Uh, I think that's where we are with the crop off this site. So, still. A very decent crop off one site. That's it. That's the honey pulled. I think we've been roughly about an hour. Now there's some supers still on site, not a lot. We'll go count them now. So these have been stripped down and nothing, well it's just the brood boxes. And this one. One, two, three. Three supers left here, which we'll pull when we come back with the Varora treatments. And uh, I'm not anticipating we're going to have to feed uh, heavily this year at all. Balsam's definitely given, but not given enough to draw any more fresh uh, foundation. And then the ivy, so a little bit of feeds now this month, and the rest of the hives will be full of honey. No doubt the bees are looking strong. Plenty of strength left there, but not enough strength to carry on filling supers. But the majority of these bees here are Welsh black bees and they do tap out early in the season. All loaded, ready to go. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching. Okay, with Melvin. Any final, yeah, any yeah. final words, Melvin? Come and hang this gate back, see that you forgot the key today, <laughs> Griffith. <laughs> Didn't know any suits off, I'm an hour in.
don't want these bees in the van. 